Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you um, a quick tutorial on how to very easily record Skype chat audio whilst recording game footage on your Elgato HD on uh, Windows 7. Now you're going to need a couple of pieces of software for this. One is um, Skype and the next is a piece of software called VAC 4.13. Um, obviously Skype, just Google it and you'll get it and install it. And the next bit, if you go to the website link highlighted at the top or have a look in the comments below and you'll find exactly the same link. Now I'll read through on the description. Have a read through all of it and as you work your way down you'll come to a section um, of which version you need. Now I'd highly recommend downloading the trial version of this software first uh, just in case it doesn't work on your computer or you have any issues with it. If you've bought the full version there is a very good um, support section on there but unfortunately there are no refunds so you maybe just end up being £13 down. Okay, so when you get to the, um, the next stage after you've uh, downloaded the software and you've installed it, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your start menu, all programs and find your virtual audio cable section. Now this is the important section as well. What you need to do is you need to, instead of just opening it straight away, right click and run it as administrator and just click yes. Uh, and then this will bring up your virtual audio control panel. Now what you want to be doing here is you want to make sure that in the cable section here um, that is set to two audio, virtual audio cables. We don't need any more than that for the what we need to do today. So once you've done that, leave that as that. You don't need to change any settings. There are other videos online that explain um, how to tweak the settings and stuff like that. But I found for what I need it to be, um, this is really simple and really easy to use. Okay, so you want to go back and now you need to go get three audio repeaters. So it's back in here, all programs, virtual audio cables, and again, you want to run the audio repeater MME, but right click on it, and you want to run as administrator. Yes, you want to open three of these. Now, so you have all three of these open. Now, for the purpose of this, I'm going to be working from left to right, and I've um, saved for my own use, and I would advise doing the same thing to you. Once you've got this up and running, take a screenshot of how your audio repeaters are. Um, just if you're anything like me, I am a little bit forgetful, and I find that having this running on there works very easily indeed. So, if I go down to my diagram here, you'll find my previous settings. So basically what we want to do is we want to set the first one on the left hand side, it wants to be the microphone. So whichever microphone you're using, for me it's going to be my game chat headset and that's going to be your wave in. Your wave out for the first one wants to be set to line one. Then we move over to the one on the middle. This then needs to be set to line two. So your wave in is set to live two. Um, then you want to go to your wave out. This will then be set to line one. And then you want to go over onto the third and final one and you want this to be set to line two. And it wants to be put onto your speakers. Right, so once you've got that set up like that, you just want to leave those. You don't want to start it um, because you haven't set up your Skype audio or your Elgato game capture. Okay. So if we just minimise that for now and we'll go to the next setting which is Skype. Once in your Skype you just need to go to Tools, Options and Audio Settings. Um, you want your audio settings to be so. You want your microphone to obviously be the microphone that it's set to. Then your speaker setting needs to be set to the middle audio repeater. Um, that's set there. Um, so that will come through and your audio will come through to there. Now the next thing to do, and this is only a personal preference as well, is when it comes down to uh, where do you want the, the, your incoming phone calls to ring. Now you can have them set so they come uh, directly through the digital audio or you can have them to come through the speakers. I've got them just to ring directly through the speakers so it's not captured at all as and when it's coming through. But yet again, as I say, this is a personal preference. So once you've done that, 
um, just to save this and Bob's your uncle there you go now the next section that you want to go to is you want to go to your Elgato game capture bring this up here and there we go I'm running my uh, Xbox 360 through this at the moment and you want to have this set to line one a virtual audio cable and you want to press that and you want to turn on your live commentary section and just for trial purposes let's just get that there and then we're ready to go so you've got that all turned on the next section that you want to do is you want to turn around you just want to click start start and start this will then start all your audio cables um, talking together and communicating between the devices so if we go back to your Elgato game capture you'll start noticing um, that it's showing that the video capture is going through now if you're running through a live Skype chat this will pick up your whole Skype parties chats and everything like that so you can just literally communicate as best you want to um, and there you go um, that is literally it that is how easy it is to use this now as I said before with you using the trial version of the software um, you will get the repeating uh, woman going this is a test this is a test it proves slightly irritating uh, but there we go that's how simple it is to set up your um, Skype um, audio cables thank you for listening